Welcome to this fourth tutorial during which we will see how we perform CFD directional computation with Zephi CFD. So first of all, to perform a calculation, we need to decide on which, on which mesh we will be uh, performing this calculation, w what is the direction uh, that we are going to calculate, what is the stability. Uh, so in this case, we will be calculating the flow for 10 degree uh, direction. Also, the number of processors that we're going to use for this calculation. Then we start the calculation. And once, once the calculation has started, we can uh, monitor in real time the behavior of the solver. And we can see uh, in real time, iteration after iteration, how the residuals are decreasing. So we can either monitor the residuals or the results. So for this first initialization, which means that this is the calculation that has been uh, performed on the coarse mesh, we have monitored the residuals. Once 100% convergence is reached on the coarse mesh, the nested technique consists in using these results as inputs for the fine mesh. So here we are now monitoring the results iterations after iterations on the fine mesh and we can see that while we reach 100% convergence the results are getting more and more stable. So this calculation has been performed. Uh, we can check the history. So if we are not monitoring in real time we can also uh, get back uh, after the calculation is over and have access to all the solver behaviors so no matter residuals or results iteration after iteration we can also check all the vertical uh, profiles so for uh, speed turbulence direction inflow angle uh, we can also uh, perform profile uh, calibration so if we have a measurement for example for this 10 degree direction we can take all the profile measurements that we have from the metmast and see if our model um, is performing well uh, by reproducing the wind shear for this direction uh, at this particular location. So here we can see that uh, in that case uh, we have we, our measurements are well reproduced by the calculated profile. Of course we can uh, write visualizations at any point of time. Uh, we can also uh, visualize uh, ISO height. So uh, ISO height we have access uh, at any constant height, we have access to the four main CFD parameters, so speed up factor, turbulence intensity, horizontal deviation, and inflow angle. Uh, this can be very useful if we want to perform um, mass sighting. So here in that case, I will show you uh, how we, for example, we can filter out some um, turbulence, which is, uh, let's say, we can see directly all the areas in this direction for which the turbulence is higher than 12%. Um, so then we can write visualization. For the direction, we can see all the um, areas for which the horizontal deviation is not within minus 2 degree to plus 2 degree. Of course, uh, all the information that we need whenever we are doing a, a mass sighting. Um, so we would be doing this for the prevailing directions, maybe the first prevailing direction as well as the second prevailing direction. And we can see also, for example, for the inflow angle, we can filter out all the areas for which the inflow angle is not uh, within minus 4 plus 4 degree. So here again, uh, once this is done, we can uh, write visualization and this will be all included in the final reports. Let's close this window. And let's uh, check out the report that we have generated for this calculation. So in this report, uh, as any uh, stage of uh, an assessment with Zephi CFD, we have access to uh, an automatic report that gives us all the information uh, for this particular action. So uh, for calculation, we have all the information on the solver uh, parameters, so how many iterations, uh, what was the computation time, all the model parameters. We can see also, of course, all the visualization that we have written. Um, so here are, for example, the, the speed up, uh, the turbulence uh, the, with, with the filter that we have created.